today, you begin your journey as leaders of this dynamic organisation. It is a day of celebration for hard work that each and every one of you have put in. You must take pride in your expertise, knowledge and professionalism. All of you will bear the honour and responsibility of leading the men and women in training and in operations to protect Singapore and safeguard our way of life. I wish you all the best and may you have a fulfilling leadership journey ahead. My experience throughout this course was a unique one. Uh, I learned new medical terms and also new algorithms and protocols to treat and save lives. So I was taught to overcome adversities and step out of my comfort zone. The, the regimentation and discipline that, that was upheld, I'm able to instill the same thing the same, uh, and, and uphold the same standards for my men in future. In light of COVID-19 situation, there were stringent measures that actually were put in place to incorporate into our trainings. All these measures are actually necessary to actually curb the current situation as it helps us to have a safe peace of mind during our training. When I was young, my father had actually shared with me a lot of his past stories when back in his days in NS. It happens that he was in a similar unit with a similar job scope of mine. He was always a role model to me because of how he actually educated me and how he shaped me to the man I am today. His stories have actually inspired me to serve in Air Force when opportunity arises. Graduating today give me a sense of pride. We will carry more responsibility and all these responsibilities that we have, we are supposed to always be ready to defend the Singapore skies when it needs. 